Hello, uh, my name is Christine Wagley, and this is my uh, journal reflection video. So, um, just to talk briefly overall about my experience with this class, um, I began uh, very frustrated in the beginning. I didn't like the way things were being done. I didn't like that I was going to have to work with a group and take turns leading topics and depend on them for learning. Um, I was extremely frustrated that there was no material being provided, that we would be responsible for researching everything ourselves and depending on our group mates uh, for help learning the topics. Um, I considered dropping the course, but I knew that it was a requirement and I needed it. Um, and so I thought to just give it my best try. Um, and the worst that could happen is I would fail the class and have to take it again, and then hopefully I would have taken something from it the first time. Um, so once the group was established, I, uh, I like to start early, so I tried to send out messages to communicate with my group. Um, and it was going really well for the first week or so. Um, it was coming really close to the time that we had our uh, deadline set to have our schedules for submission turned in. Um, and so we had written a schedule. I had uh, created a Google group for us. We were going to meet on Hangouts. Um, and this was decided, uh, I think there were like five of us at this point, maybe four or five of us had all contacted each other and agreed on this. And then shortly before the deadline, the last of our members uh, reached out. And uh, due to the unfamiliarity with Canvas, which was the means for communication we had been using, they had not seen the previous attempts uh, to contact them. So we kind of started all new because they wanted to change the schedule. They wanted to use different means for communication. Um, and so it became very, very frustrating for me um, because it seemed like all the work I had done was for naught at that point. We were starting over again and everything I did uh, basically became pointless because we weren't going to use any of it. Um, so I just decided to once again try to go with it, but I was in the back of my mind, I was dreading having to work with my group uh, for the rest of the semester. Um, so. Uh, we had one person that had a Slack channel, and then someone else wanted to use Zoom for the meetings. Uh, I was not familiar with either of those, but the majority of the groups seemed uh, more comfortable with those methods once they were mentioned. So uh, I decided to just go with the majority of what the group wanted uh, to make it easier. I didn't want to argue and try to force people to use what I was comfortable with when the majority seemed comfortable with the other methods. Um, so I tried to just be flexible about it, which is not, <laughs> it's not in my nature, which is why I don't usually like to work in groups. But um, things started to smooth out after our first meeting. I presented uh, my topic in the first meeting we had, along with a couple of other group members, and I was I felt very inadequate, but it went well, um, and everyone seemed to take away things from it. Even though I felt like I had nothing to offer, apparently I did. Um, and we ended up making our decisions by just putting everything out there and sort of doing like a, a group vote, seeing how everyone in the group felt about it and going from there with decisions, um, which is the same way that we decided our schedule everyone had a chance to look over it. We made sure everyone was comfortable with the topics that they had and that they felt comfortable with the way we had, you know, organized it all. So, um, I kind of learned about our decision making from there that it doesn't have to be this strict, rigid, um, don't deviate from the schedule or the world is going to end. <laughs> I'm very organized and in the beginning, it was hard for me um, because of that, but I learned from it that it doesn't, that everything can still be fine and sometimes work out better, um, especially when you have so many people in a group. So for leadership, we didn't actually pick a group leader. Um, everyone just sort of pitched in. 
Uh, one person, I said, had the Slack channel uh, and invited everyone to that. One person had the Zoom account, and she invited everyone to the meeting. Um, and from there, if there was ever an issue, uh, we all kind of worked together. Um, at one point, we discussed that we needed to be inviting you, the instructor, to our meetings weekly. And so I said that I would make sure that that gets done. Um, and everyone kind of ended up just wanting to pitch in with that, too. So sometimes I would send the invite, and sometimes our other team members would. Um, but it it was, I think it was an advantage because it really helped uh, our flexibility and it gave everyone a chance to sort of pitch in and feel like they were giving as much as the other group members. Um, the challenges, we did face a few challenges um, between some of the members not being as prepared. Um, we had members, I think more than one, who were like getting married during this semester. A couple of them were moving across to like different states. We had a uh, some people changing jobs and so it became difficult at times to work out uh, our schedule and some of them had to miss some of the meetings but for the most part um, they would let us know if they weren't going to be there and we would make sure that the topic got covered as much as it needed to if they were missing their chance to present um, and we also tried to uh, allow multiple opportunities for people to make up their topic presentations if they did miss it um, so that was probably the, the hardest part for us, was just everyone's personal lives uh, going on. But we made a schedule that everyone agreed to, and we stuck to it uh, for our due dates. We just worked um, toward what we had originally agreed on, and for the most part, we did stick to that. Uh, we would discuss each week in our meetings if... Uh, we needed to cover a topic again or if we could possibly keep you know move on from some of the easier topics or if anyone needed help with something in particular so that everyone felt comfortable and everyone agreed that we were ready to move on um, to a new topic um, so I think our high was probably about mid-semester when everything started coming together and we all see how saw how easily we could work with one another and how willing everyone was to participate and how being on different levels as far as our knowledge of CIT we were able to help out in different areas. Um, I learned I had some people ask me about my code and say that it was helping them could I clarify something and they were using it to try to improve on their own and that really helped me because in the beginning I felt that I had nothing to offer to the group um, and I thought maybe I would just be a way on them that you know, they would be burdened by my lack of knowledge. But I did learn that I, I had more to offer than I thought. Um, and I learned not to be so rash in my judgments um, because I was frustrated in the beginning and I, I suffered because of that and I made judgments that I, I shouldn't have made. So through this whole thing, I learned uh, to be more flexible. And for this type of work, um, computer information technology especially you need to learn to work with a group you need to be flexible uh, you need to be patient and this working in this is something I've never worked in this way before with teaching myself and teaching others and learning just from my own lessons and the classmates um, so it was all new and I learned that it actually was very helpful because it was so hands-on we were teaching ourselves and it was impossible for us not to learn it and still be able to move forward. And so in the end, it was a lot more helpful and it changed my approach to learning because I could really see um, how much I have to offer others and how much I have to gain from the help that others give. So it kind of helped me realize um, just how helpful this can be and how much more flexible I need to be and overall it was a really great experience and I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.